When it comes to controversy in the hunting industry, I guess I'm no stranger to it. I'll tell you what, we're up here, we're going to be going after a big bull elk using a crossbow on today's show, so stick around. For whatever reason, I feel that controversy can be good as it gets people to actually stop and think about things a bit more than normal. It's a time that can be contentious too, as it can upset some folks. But how else are we supposed to learn about new things? Doesn't somebody have to bring up controversial topics? This stuff right here will make any shooting experience very explosive. I guess the older I get, the more I realize that I like controversy, as it actually helps flush people out on where they stand on different subjects. Me choosing to do shows using the crossbow over 20 years ago was controversial, as many archers at the time were some kind of upset with me. They took shots at me continually, and yet I continued to promote them. Now, 20 years later, virtually every major archery manufacturer has a crossbow. <laughs> Decades ago, Game cameras were controversial, as many hunters thought that they provided the hunter with an unfair advantage. Today, there are more game camera manufacturers out there than you can shake a stick at, and yet, still, there are people that feel these great hunting products provide hunters with an unfair advantage. Years ago, suppressors were not considered legal to use for hunting in many states. But today, more and more states have recognized that suppressors do have a place in the market. Got it. God, look at that, look at that, that is a gigantic feral hog. And they are now more accepted as legal hunting tools. So how do you define controversy? And more importantly, do you feel like it's important to have controversy in the hunting world? I've discovered that when hunters start deciding what in their minds is an acceptable hunting method, they close their minds down to all new possibilities that could exist. My job, is to help inform hunters about the new products that are out there, how they work, and why it may be something they'd like to know more about.